Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful spring day. Well, today I want to share with you some tips on how to harvest and condition daffodils so you really get the longest vase life from them and also from other flowers that you might be pairing them with. So let's just start out with the proper stage of harvest. When daffodils first emerge from the ground, you'll see their beautiful strappy foliage. And isn't that a welcome sight after a long and cold winter? Then you'll see the bloom stalks emerge. And what first happens is that they show up in what I call pencil stage. This is where their bloom is at a point and pointing straight up towards the heavens. This is unfortunately going to be too early to cut the daffodil. It won't open in the vase. It'll just kind of sit like this and eventually perish. So wait a little bit longer if this is what your daffodils look like. Now what I'm looking for is this. The daffodil bloom is fully colored. It's actually started to point down towards the ground. The papery sheath has started to pull backwards. And this is what we call gooseneck stage. This is the ideal stage to pick a single daffodil if you want the longest vase life, or if you're selling it to a florist or a grocery store, or maybe like myself, you're selling at a farm stand. Go ahead for gooseneck stage on a single. Now, here's one that I picked just a few hours ago in gooseneck stage so you can see it and you can see it started to open already and here's one after just 24 hours after being picked in gooseneck stage so they really fully open in the vase for you within about 24 hours of being picked in that manner now in contrast to the singles when it comes to the double daffodils or some people will call these fancy daffodils i like to pick these a little bit more open the buds here are fully colored they're really nice and poofy and they've just started to pull back that's when i personally like to pick these fancy daffodils for the longest space life. Now, of course, if you're picking daffodils to bring inside your home, pick them in whatever stage makes you the happiest. This is just how to go about getting the longest vase life from them. Now let's talk about how to get the longest stem length from your daffodils. What you actually wanna do is instead of cutting your daffodils, you wanna go ahead and pull them right from the earth. So I am wearing gloves for this because some people do experience itching or even a rash when they work with daffodils. So if you're not sure whether or not you're allergic, just go ahead and put on a pair of gloves for doing this. I like to reach my hand with my thumb pointing down toward the earth, all the way down to the base of the daffodil stem. And I'm gonna pull straight up. And by doing this, I actually get a little more stem length because part of this here, about a half an inch to an inch, was actually under the ground. But what's really awesome is this. Daffodils leak a toxic substance and they need to be conditioned separately before being paired with other flowers. But by pulling them rather than cutting, they release less of that toxic sap. And if you've ever harvested a bucket of daffodils with scissors or snips before, you might have noticed that gelatinous substance or mucousy substance that leaks out from the base of the stem. But I've really noticed that when you pull them rather than cut them, they leak almost none of that sap. But with that being said, I still want to take extra care and condition them. So after harvesting, I place my daffodils in a bucket of cool water and they're going to sit in this water for about three to four hours. And during that time, that toxic sap is going to flush out from the stem and the base of the stem is going to callus over. At that point, I can remove them from this water, place them into clean, fresh water. And at that time, they're ready to be paired with other flowers. Because if I were to pick a bucket of daffodils and then also a bucket of say, tulips especially and pair them together without doing this conditioning process it will significantly decrease the vase life of the tulip it actually won't necessarily hurt your daffodil but it will decrease the vase life of other flowers that you might be pairing them with so always a good idea to condition daffodils separately and then work them into your arrangements well guys i sure hope this video was helpful let me know if you have any favorite daffodil varieties for cutting 
I love them all, to be honest with you, but there are some that I feel like I couldn't live without. This one right in front of us and that I have in my bucket is called Replete, and it's a beautiful ivory double, or some people say fancy, with lots of layers of ruffly peach orange petals in the center. I also just love the standard Dutch Master. I know it's common, but I still love it, and it really announces spring and early March. Another one I tried recently is a Jonquilla type of daffodil called Pueblo. This one is really cool because it actually changes colors. It starts off kind of a buttery yellow, very soft buttery yellow, but then it ages towards an ivory and it lasts a really long time in the vase. And some people even feel like it has a nice fragrance. I just want to wish you a great day out there in your garden and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.